Hi, I'm Joshy. Wanna play? That was, that was terrible. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Not any better? Hi. So, I was bored and curious, so I just went on Wikipedia. Whenever it's something not Jason or Turtles, or let's say FNAF, or Sonic, I don't immediately hear about it. Especially when, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't seen any videos talking about it, I haven't seen any anything, so I guess people, I mean, Chucky has its fan base, but... I guess not big enough fan base to make videos on any new little news update, but I was, I'm a fan of his. It's just that I'm a bigger fan of Turtles, Sonic, FNAF, kind of ish, and, oh, yeah. and Jason. Those are them, those are my four big things. Three kind of happened. I'm still, I don't know how I feel about FNAF anymore. The story. It's not that. Anyway, it's not what we're here to talk about. Although it is related. It is about someone dying and possessing something. We're talking about Chucky. Or more specifically, the Child's Play movies. Now, unlike any other movie franchise, whenever a film series starts to get too silly, they either do a sequel that ignores other sequels, creating an alternate timeline, or they just reboot slash remake it. Chucky didn't do either of that. The series started out as a, trying to be a serious horror movie, but it came off kind of silly. It, it, it was scary at parts, but then it got silly. Then the second movie and the third movie tried to do the same thing. They tried to be just like the first movie, that mix of serious and silly. They ended up being slightly more silly, though. The, the third movie... It it try it was like two, but it was kind of boring. It was it was a cliche movie. But okay, let me quickly go over the tones of each movie. Then I'll go over each movie. So I already described the first one, and then the next two, then four and five, which are Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, just gave up on trying to be serious. They knew what this series was, and they, they, this is the only way they could take it, especially since the scream, you know came out, and those kind of self-aware horror movies were popular for a while. I think for a good ten years. For a while, that's all horror movies were, so first people got bored of horror movies because they were all the same. Generic killer killing people, well, that's it. Then it became self-aware, and it became generic for that, because almost every horror movie afterwards, for a while, was self-aware. But moving on. So the Chucky series went down that route for two movies. And then you think after the horrible seed of Chucky, you think it's either time to A, alternate timeline, ignoring every other sequel except the first one, or maybe the first the first three and ignoring those last two, B, reboot it and start over with a whole new world and story, three, remake it, just recreate the first movie again. It's a new world again, but it's the same story. It's, it's not... Uh, yeah. Or... D. Just, I don't know, make something else. Maybe a book, a game. Or maybe just not make anything Chucky anymore. Well, instead, the sixth movie, Curse of Chucky, went back to the serious town again, except even more serious than the first movie. It actually feels like a legit horror movie, like the first movie was trying to do but failed. It's actually kind of scary at parts. It does have its silly moments, of course, it's Chucky, but it's a more serious one, and it doesn't ignore the last movies like you would expect. No, they're still in canon. They still happened. So Glenn and Glenda are somewhere out there. That whole ending where Chucky's arm grabs him, I don't think he killed him there Why we kill his own son. Sure, he's not proud of him, because he doesn't want to be a killer, but still, that's your son. you got to be proud. you got to still love him. But yeah. So then, Curse and Cult had that little tone going on. 
they're more serious, but have their silly moments. And they look nicer. Like, like a really high-budget good movie. Usually, direct-to-DVD movies suck, but then there's a few rare exceptions. Like this one. This movie is actually better than the last movie. The last movie was so terrible. You'd wish they would ignore it and say it um, didn't happen, but it's still in canon. But hey, at least this movie's good. I can accept that. So yeah, that's the that's the that's all the seven movies. Now let me quickly go over each one. I I went over the tones. Now let me go over the movies themselves. The first movie started out with Charles Lee Ray, Chucky before he died. He looked kind of like Tommy Wiseau, but the room wouldn't come out for another decade or so, so no one knew who that was. So I guess when they seen the room, they were like, oh, hi, Charles. That was terrible. But anyway, he gets shot, and then as a last-ditch last effort, he possesses the doll. A good guy doll, specifically. Coincidentally, that good guy doll happened to have the same name as his nickname, Chucky. Or he's able to control what the what the doll says, so he just made the doll his nickname. Either one, it doesn't matter. It's scary at first, for the first part of the movie, but then as soon as Chucky opens his mouth, it just gets kind of silly. It's it's a good movie. It's a goofy movie. I enjoy watching it. But they, it was a good horror movie at first, and then it just got silly. Hey, at least there were some good kills. I like the one where he shocks him on the head. Spoiler alert, but I like the one where he shocks him on the head. But back on to the plot. Again, spoiler alert. He's he's trying to get revenge on his partner who ditched him, which is why he got killed, and revenge on the cop that killed him. Well, he gets revenge on one of them. But when he tries to kill the cop, the cop fights back, actually shooting Chucky, and it actually hurts. So he goes to his voodoo doctor friend, the guy who taught him this stuff, ask him, hey, what the hell? So the guy proclaims that the longer he spends in the doll, the more it becomes his actual body. Or, as he puts it, becomes more human. Which is bullcrap. He's more like an immortal killer now, like Jason Freddy Michael. Because a human can't survive several gunshots or head off and all that shit. He means it's becoming your body, not that you're becoming fully human. No, I think you're... Oh, uh, whatever. Point is, it's going to become his body permanently, and he doesn't want that. So he uses a voodoo doll to blackmail the guy and to tell him what to do. He tells him, and it turns out he has to put his soul into the first person that he revealed his true self to. And in Chucky's words, I have a date with a six-year-old boy. Moving on. <laughs> well, let's just, needless to say, he doesn't get Andy. He tries, but he doesn't get him. And then Andy burns him. Chucky's like, no, wait, Andy, no, please. We're friends to the end, remember? This is the end, friend. Ah! 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 That was epic. If they ever do a Chucky Leprechaun crossover, these two phrases need to be in there. This is the end, friend, and fuck you, Lucky Charms. Speaking of crossovers, we'll get to that in a minute. So after several gunshots, removing pieces of Chucky's body, including his head, they finally shoot him in the heart, because that's his weak point, according to the guy. So, not exactly becoming human, but just more or less that doll becoming his body. So, yeah, they quote-unquote kill him. I guess they do kill him, but he comes back from the dead in the next movie. Pretty much immortal at that point. But yeah, that's the end. And like I said, the beginning of a franchise, if it starts out as a comic, a show, a movie, whatever, whatever it may be, the first thing that comes out of it is its own world, and anything after that is like a like I said in the Halloween video Halloween is its own thing then Halloween 2 and all that are just another timeline there's a world out there where just the events of Halloween happen and nothing else not 2, not everything else 
You can say the same with Friday the 13th, Chucky, hell, even Ninja Turtles. I have a theory, but I'll get into that in a minute. This is about Chucky, not Turtles. So, back into it. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So in the next movie, it's apparently two years later, and Chucky had limited time to do this, so I'm guessing two years later is too late. We'll see you later. But the first movie, I have to mention, the nostalgic critic and Freyless pointed this out, and this is why another reason why I say the movie's silly. Chucky is incompetent. He's he's funny, yes, he's enjoyable to watch. He's laughably silly as a killer doll, but he's incompetent. He had on well, the first movie he tried a bit harder. And in the second movie, especially, he wastes so much time when apparently he has a limited time to do this, and he has plenty of opportunities to do it, but he just doesn't. Say someone comes into the room, he stops for that. He could just finish the chant, take over Andy's body, and then kill her. You don't need to stop. You don't just... And instead of immediately going for Andy when he's alone in the classroom, well, I, guess I guess that's an excuse. He was locked in the closet, he couldn't get out. But in, as soon as he does get out, he doesn't go straight for Andy. He wastes time killing the teacher. What the hell? He he could do so much. He could has plenty of chances to do this, but he doesn't. And if it wasn't already too late by two years, I think all that time he wasted doing other shit caused it to be too late. So yeah, I like Chucky. He's funny. If if I can get him not to kill me, we could probably hang out, maybe. He's like a chill guy to hang out with. But he's yeah, not very competent. If he was here, he'd probably kill me for saying that, but it's true. He's He wasn't very competent. Again, uh, uh, something from Nostalgia Critic and Phalus. The first movie... Oh, God, I'm dying. Second movie when he's nose bleeding. No! So nonchalant about this shit. That's, that seems to be a character trait for him. That's just how he is. So yeah, the second movie, they read, they they examine the burnt doll parts to see if it's a malfunction or nothing, because they, of course, they ain't gonna believe that the doll is alive. So they check the parts to see if they're good, see if see if there's some kind of hacking into it or some kind of fucked up shit. But yeah, they came out negative, probably either because the parts were burned or because it wasn't tampered with. It was literally his soul in there. It's not someone reprogrammed the voice box to say this shit like they were looking for. And for some reason, they rebuild the doll. I don't know why. You think you check the parts and then if it comes up negative, that's it. Why rebuild the fucking doll? Just leave it how it is. What's the point? Well, they rebuild it, and we got ourselves a sequel. So, throughout the whole movie, he's trying to get Andy, and trying to get Andy, and has plenty of opportunities to do so, but it wastes time doing needless shit. And by the end, when he's in the good guy factory, and he does the chant, well, Andy opens his eyes, Chucky's still there, his nose bleeds, and this is the scene that inspired George Lucas when he made the Star Wars prequels. No! He realizes it's too late and he's trapped in the body. That's his body now. Kind of your fault, Chucky, but me. Kind of your fault. But yeah, so. Yeah, so the rest of the movie, he's just trying to kill Andy out of anger that it was too late. So. Yeah, at the end, they blow his head up. In the first movie, they burned and shot him to shit. In this one, they cover him in wax and blow him to hell. It's pretty awesome. Child's Play 2 is silly like the first one. It's, it's a good movie. Nostalgia Critic and Bayless may not like it, but everyone has their own opinions. I like it. The third movie, though... I think they should have started making it a comedy series after 2, not 3, because... Three would have been better if it was a self-aware comedy that made fun of itself. 
But the Scream movies weren't out yet. But Friday the 13th Part 6 was. But I guess Scream did it better. But yeah, the third movie is... It looks like they just took another generic movie and just put Chucky in there. Chucky and Andy, that is. They took a generic, run-of-the-mill, boring military movie. Or not mil Yeah, military. It's military school. It's army school. It's it's cliche to the max. They even the always good and cliche Welcome to Hell line is in there. It's uninteresting. But here's so here's how Chucky comes back. So the 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 carcass of the fucked up blown up Chucky body with no head is still there. I think they would clean that up, but no. Okay, so the world of Chucky is partially incompetent, so I guess Chucky's not fully to blame there. So they lift his thing up with two little pokers. It would poke into him and his blood bleeds, but you think after eight years, all the blood would be gone. I mean, I know... No, it should be gone. Unless being a doll means... I don't get it. But... Alright, I'm just, I'm just gonna stretch my this suspension of disbelief. I'm gonna stretch it. And say that there was still blood in there after eight years. So they lift it up, and they move it, and they happen to move it over a vat of... Uh, wax, that's what it was. And here's one of the ideas they would use in a later movie. They wanted to make, use that bloody wax to make a bunch of Chuckies, since each Chucky has his blood in it. He's technically all of them. A Chucky clone army. But they didn't have the budget for it, so they saved that for the seventh movie. Spoiler. So yeah. Chucky comes back. He finds out where Andy is, goes there. Movie, movie, movie. And here here's the thing. So because the last one was the same original core, just with new plastic on top and shit. He still had the metal skull and Shit. So it was technically the same body, because it had something from the original body here, but this time it's a completely new body. So Chucky thinks that it's reset and he can do the thing again. Bayless and Nostalgia Critic point out that this might not be the case, because kinda got a new body into and it didn't work there, but like I said, it's because it had some parts from the original body. Here it's new parts, so we, we don't know. We never find out if it would have worked, because he never gets to do it. Same thing as the last movie. They have opportunities to go do this. He just spends time wasting doing shit. But yeah, he thinks his thing is reset, so instead of going after Andy, he tells a new kid. And movie, movie, movie later, here's where it really gets dumb. So, the world that Chucky exists in is... It's... I can't... Here's how to do paintball in military school. Specially modified guns that can't shoot real bullets. They can only shoot ink. What does Chucky do? Switches out the ink for real ammo, and the guns actually work. Either the world of Chucky works different than the real world, or that one military school was incredibly incompetent. And besides, not only is it not made to shoot real bullets, the, you, they usually wear protective shit. But in this, they didn't. And also, they're right near an amusement park where a stray bullet or something could get off and... Okay, the third movie sucked. Move on. Moved on. At the end, he gets cut in a giant fan blade and... This leads to the next movie. Which... Was made... 91, 92. You don't count the year you start on, so... 92, 93, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Seven years later. But canonically, it takes place a month later, because because the last movie takes place in the in 1998. So, yeah, I guess that was perfect timing for them. No it. So, like how Jason didn't start out with his hockey mask, he didn't get that to the third movie. Chucky didn't get his stitch face to the fourth movie. Maybe that's why they didn't want to ignore them, because the stitch face Chucky became his signature look after this movie. 
Certain the sixth movie, you see him as normal Chucky, but that's only because he has a wax cover in it. When they peel it off, you see it's still Stitch Face, so. I guess that's why they didn't want to ignore those movies, but they could still say, they could still ignore them and say that he still got the Stitch Face. Tiffany could still got him and shit, but whatever, not complaining. So, uh, his girlfriend from when he was alive, Tiffany, finds the pieces of him and stitches, or, you know, bribe, blackmails a cop and just selling him to her, and instead of paying him, she slits his throat, so he can get Chucky for free, and steals his lighter, like a bitch. Oh yeah, so she reassembles Chucky, stitching him up and shit, creating the classic, iconic stitch face Chucky. Also, permanently stapling normal face Chucky as serious, stitch face Chucky as jokey, not serious. Unless he starts out as normal face because of wax. But moving on. Moving on. Sits them together, she wants him to marry her. He laughs, so she starts treating him like a baby. And when he says, yeah, I'll marry you, let me out of this crib. She, she says, okay, here's someone you can marry. He gives him a little doll. He's like, bitch. He rips the ring necklace off the doll and uses it to saw his way out of the crib. So, as a revenge dick move for her doing that, he fucking kills her and then puts her soul in a doll. Want to marry me now? We can do it now. We're about the same height. So yeah, she's pissed at first, and then when Chucky explains what they gotta do, yeah. And then here's a retcon. So the first three movies establish that you have a limited time to get to do it, or else it's too late. Well, according to Bride and Chucky, if, it, if you get there too late, there's a backup. An ambulance that allows you to put your soul in anyone's body. No matter how long you've been in it. Why didn't Chucky immediately gun for this when he after the first movie? Why didn't he gun for his corpse in the morgue or dig up his grave or anything? If he already knew about this. I don't know. But, whatever. It, it's a thing. So, now their whole mission is to get to his grave. And, and they trick a friend of Tiffany's, you know, to... Get him there, and movie, movie, movie. Tiffany and Chucky actually do hit it off, and we have a doll sex scene. Anyone else would be like, Ew, Charles, what the fuck, Child's Play? The series is dead now. The series is ruined. And other people would be like, That's fucked up and weird, so it's funny. Not many people are going to actually be turned on by that. Hope you guys aren't disturbed by me, but I'm fucked up. I, I just turned on my... Don't judge me! Anyway, moving on. So yeah, they get married, and movie, movie, movie... Eventually, Tiffany realizes... She was watching Bride of Frankenstein when she was taking a bath. Kind of get it. Bride of Chucky, Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, 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 get it. In that movie, Frankenstein kills them both because they're both abominations, and so she kind of picks up on that. This couple that they've been tricking into taking them places, they're just trying to be a happy living couple, like, like you know, just trying to live their lives. And Tiffany and them, Chucky doing this and ruining it, so Tiffany realizes, wow, we're bad people. I need to put a stop to this. So she tries to kill herself and Chucky. And Chucky's like, bitch! And then they get into a fight and shit. Chucky wins, of course, but he gets knocked down into his own grave. That's when the detective shows up and Chucky gets shot. And it's gotta be the lamest way he's died in any of the movies. They they didn't even remember the whole the, the heart thing. I guess that was only in the first movie. I guess now it's too late and the heart won't work? No, that didn't make sense. He said when the heart, the heart is almost human. So it seems when he's fully human, or at least fully attached to the doll as his body, the heart should always be the weak point. But, ah, fuck it. Chucky gets shot to death in this. 
this is bullshit. We see him walk and move after getting his limbs shot off. And he's been shot many times, and he's moved. Like it. Well, then at the end, the detective is poking at Tiffany's body, and she gives birth. Wondering how she how she was able to get pregnant and give birth that fast, it's explained in the next movie, but I'll give you I'll tell you right now. Voodoo pregnancy. It's accelerated. So the next movie is Sea to Chucky, and oh god, it's a mess. Some people don't like Bride, and some people love Bride to Hell, and they say it's their favorite Chucky, and other people say it's when the series started to get bad and go downhill. In my opinion, it started getting bad at 3. So I'm glad that they made it intentionally silly by 4 to keep it somewhat good and entertaining. This movie took it too far, though, and it's just stupid at times. And it's just like, ugh, ugh. I don't give a fuck about, you know, Glenn slash Glenda's gender thing. Who, ah. See that Chucky predicted the future. Now everyone online... Okay, that's, that's too far, but I'm going to say it. Now everyone online is a Glenn and Glenn that they don't know what they want to be. They don't know if they're a boy or a girl, and sometimes they want to be both. And then you just make up your own gender to feel special, and now you got 62 genders that some people follow and believe it's real to a T. And I'm just like, you idiots. There's only two genders. Three if you count hermaphrodites. But that's just both genders together. That's not a third gender. That's just the two genders together. That, there's only two genders. I, I don't care how many people I piss off. You can go ahead and say you want to be whatever you want to be. If you're a man, and, but you want to be a woman. I actually I actually knew a transgender person in high school. He was a good friend of my friend Kendall. We, we kind of hung out when we were waiting at the bus stop. So yeah, she she wants to be called she, so I'll call her she. Call him she, her she. Whatever. If you want to be whatever you want to be, go ahead. Just letting you know that if one of your things you want to be is not the two genders, you can go ahead and say you're it, but it's not a real thing. I'm just telling you. Just saying. Okay, that got sidetracked fast. Okay, so moving on, moving on. So let's see the Chucky. Um, the kid, the little monster baby, grew up into a non-violent kid. I, and his name is Shitface. When he finds out that Chucky is his dad from seeing him on TV, and he waves, fucks him very much. He sees the same symbol on his hand, I mean on his wrist. So he makes the connection. And, oh, my daddy. So then he just books it out of there. I don't know how he ha got the ambulance, but he did. So he escapes his, you know, puppet master guy and leaves. Somehow hitches a plane and goes all the way over to Hollywood. Where they're using Chucky in, in a movie. I guess the Chucky story got so big and popular, they decided to make a movie on it. The Urban Legend of Chucky the Killer Devil. Let's make a movie about it. I don't think they're following the real life events at all. I think they're just using the Chucky character. Because in no part in the first movie was there a Christmas scene where Chucky cut his way out of a fake Santa's bag. But moving on. And you think the Chucky that got shot on the ground and the Tiffany burnt over there would be taken into evidence? No. Just fix him up and then use him in your movie. Yeah, that's cool. Use the actual doll from the let eggs. That is actually cool, but how would you get a hold of it? It should be in police evidence. What, did you pay off the police? Or did you do what Tiffany did? Except actually paid him instead of kill him. But, whatever. I digress. So, he gets there. And realizes that they're not waking up. So he's like, oh, I'll read this on my ambulance. Says it. A dambale do a dambala awake. Something like that. So they wake up and realize, huh. Alive again, eh? How many years has it been this time? Oh, Tiff, you're looking better than the last time I saw you. I'm surprised he's not mad at her, but... I don't know. Bygones be bygones, I guess. I guess he still loves her. So, yeah. Just looking at her. 
And then he looks at him and he's like, who the fuck are you? One, I know, I know you got Tiffany there, but com- possessed killer dolls aren't common enough to where Chucky would just casually be like, who the fuck are you? No, no, I, I get it. It can happen again, but what are the chances of it happening again? Chucky should be more serious about this. There's a, there's a third doll in front of him. A third living doll. But anyway, I guess. So, after making fun of him for a minute, while well, Tiffany's all nice, he shows the hand, her wrists, and then Chucky passes out. Well, Tiffany hugs. So that's just the beginning of the movie. Moving on to the next bit, stupid. The whole thing about they don't know if he's a boy or a girl. They check and he's smooth down there. I don't don't know. Why? If Chucky was able to grow a dick from slowly becoming more human than a doll, and so was Tiffany... How come this one who was born a doll and has been a doll for years now doesn't have nothing down there? You confuse me. Yeah, whatever. Point is, they don't know if he's a boy or a girl. Chucky really wants a boy. Tiffany really wants a girl. So they compromise. He'll he'll have two names. Glenn and Glenda. And then it's later in the movie, it's revealed that Glenn and Glenda are two people in one body, sort of like a Jekyll and Hyde or other side type deal. I don't get how that works, because usually another side is the same gender as you. How do you have another you in you that's a different gender? Not Miss, it's not Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. It's it's Mr. Hyde. It's, I, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to move on. There is another way another side could be a thing. And a lot of times... Don't ask me how I know this. I have, I have my sources. But another... So when you have twins in the womb, but then the other one doesn't develop and they just become one, you know about that. If you don't, just look it up. Or they should teach you in school or on TV. But yeah, that'll happen. Sometimes they'll just fuse into one and you'll never even know that you were ever going to have a twin. Or there will be like a extra little part sticking out, but that's rare as hell and usually never happens. But if that happens, your twin... Your twin soul could exist in your head with you, like another side. So I guess maybe Glenn and Glenda were going to be twins, but for some reason, they didn't separate, and they just stayed as one. That might explain it, but why am I putting so much thought into this terrible movie? Moving on. So, Chucky, after all the bullshit he went through throughout the whole movie, he just says fuck it, and he wants to stay a doll. We'll get into that later in the next few movies, two movies. So yeah, he just wants to stay a doll. And Tiffany's like, I don't want to be a doll. I want to be a human. Chucky, I'm leaving you. I'm taking the kid. So as so Tiffany, or not Tiffany, Chucky's like, nobody leaves me. Nobody does me. <coughs> but... This guy jumps in the way. It's some bullshit subplot that goes nowhere because he dies. It's some bullshit. Well, the point is, it's the, so Tiffany does her chant on... This is a meta moment right here, but... If you've seen the movie, you already know. That's why I didn't really bother with explaining this. But uh, I guess I have to now if I'm going to mention this part. Jennifer Tilly, the voice actress for Tiffany and the actress for Tiffany in the last movie before she became the doll. Now she's in this movie playing both herself and playing Tiffany. So now Tiffany will possess... I, I just said her name. I forgot it. Fuck, how did I forget that? I just said it. Brain. Okay, well, point is, she's going to possess her actor, and that's kind of a meta... That's kind of a mind blow. Uh, Jennifer. Yeah, so Tiffany's going to possess Jennifer. 
But yeah, so she's doing that, but then Chucky gets there and axes her in the head. So you think she didn't make it, right? That's what they that's what they imply, because she's still in the doll's body talking through the doll when she dies. But then Jennifer gets up and Jennifer's possessed by Tiffany. How the fuck? And don't say that no, she's not. We see later she is. I don't no, I don't understand, but moving on. So yeah, Glenda chops Chucky up into bits. It's it's an awesome scene. Better than the death from the last movie, but nothing will ever compare to the head blow up. <laughs> nothing. Well anyway. Chop the chest, chop off arms and legs and the head. Again, forgetting the whole heart thing, but I don't know. I guess that heart thing was only a thing in the first movie. So yeah, after that, Jennifer had... Oh, she already had the two kids. Uh, it's another part I skipped over because I just want to get through this movie fast. So much stupid stuff in here that I could mention. It'll take off a lot. I'm already at 35 minutes. I wanted to keep this short, but I felt like I had to go over the history of Chucky. Alright, I'm just going to quickly get through the movies. By maybe the 40 minute point, maybe 45, and I'll spend the next 15 minutes talking about the news updates. Yeah, so. So now that they have two babies, a boy and a girl, Glenn and Glenda can be a thing. So he puts his soul in both, or him and his twin sister's soul in there, I guess. Let's see. Well, Glenda is, is evil and shit, she's a bitch. She's a murderer like her father wanted. Well, Glenn is nice and sweet. He's not a killer. But yeah, so at the end of the movie, the choking thing you already know. So moving on to the next movie, a more serious movie that should have been in theaters, but because of the last movie, they said, hell no. But let me go up over a little bit of history. They were going to remake Chucky in 2012. Not a reboot or anything, just a remake. Like every movie's getting done nowadays. For the past like 20 years, 20 to 30 years now, everything's been getting remade, and that's just all it is now. And any original idea is usually not that good, or an, an okay idea, but done wrongly. So it kind of ruins it. So yeah, they were going to remake Chucky, but then the creators of the Chucky series were like, no, we need to get one more sequel in there before the remake's made. You know, finish this series off on a high note, don't end it off on that shitty note. Make this thing scary and serious again. And they did. And it worked so much that they canceled that remake and instead made another sequel. Yes! So, Curse. It does a little bit more retconning, but I don't know. When the first movie barely has anything to it, that's what sequels are for. I guess it's the add-on. But yeah, the reason why he was running from the cops is because he's stalking this woman. Huh. I guess Tiffany was just an on and off thing beforehand. Which, speaking of which, we'll get into her later. So he's, so she, he, after she said no, I won't be with you or something, he just stabs her in the gut, making her, missing her, he made her baby paraplegic. But that's better. And so that's why he's running from the cops. There's, yeah. So now he's come back. I guess kill off the family for revenge because he blames them for becoming a doll, but I thought he liked being a doll now. And maybe he just wants revenge for, you know, her not being with him, but she's already dead, so next best thing, kill her family. I need to rewatch the movie to really remember what the motives were in that one. It's a good movie, I just can't remember why he's doing what he does. Well, the point is, he's there and he's normal Chucky again, so I was like, reboot? Alternate timeline? No. Plot twist. The other two movies are still canon. At the end, they peel off the shit, and then it's Stitch Face Chucky again. He had a he like, like makeup job over it to hide it. So he kills everyone and gets Nika, the girl who's in a wheelchair, the daughter of the one that he liked but said no, and he made her paraplegic by stabbing. Yeah, you know. That looked like a jerk-off motion, like he did in Bride of Chucky. But anyway... He 
got her framed for it. And then, was it her cousin or sister? Little sister? Again, need to rewatch the movie. It's been a while. But yeah, at the end, he possesses her. But before we, before I continue with that, here's the thing. In the next movie, it's revealed Chucky learned a new spell. An incarnation... No, an incarnation... No. I can't remember. Another variant of the, of the spell. I think it's changed... I think he changed two little words, and that makes something different. He learned it from voodoofordummies.com. Or was it... I think, yeah, it's .com. So yeah, he, he learned a new spell. So, he wants to stay a doll, but now he has a bigger plan. He's not only going to stay as the doll... He's also going to put his soul into multiple dolls and people, calling it the Cult of Chucky. I guess people are going to voluntarily let him possess them. And if people don't want to join his cult, he'll just harass them until they, till he let, till they let him. Nika joins the cult at the end of the seventh movie, but we'll get to that. Point is, he possesses her. And then at the end of the movie, after the credits, and he's back. Chucky mails himself to him. And another badass line from Andy. And he's played by the same little kid actor who played him in the first two. Do I believe that the guy from the third one could have turned into this slightly overweight looking guy? Maybe, but it's kind of stretching it. They kind of almost look nothing alike, but screw it. Here's the awesome line. Play with this. And that's... Well, he's not dead, but this thing's defeated, so... So far, burnt, shot to pieces, shot in the heart. Second one. So, first gets, you know, hand ripped off, he had to cut off his own legs, then covered in wax, and then head blown up. Third one. Gets shot a few times, face slide, uh, sliced off, hand cut off, and then flinged into a giant fan cut into pieces. Fourth one, just shot a few times. Fifth one, chopped to pieces. Sixth one, shotgun blast to the face. <laughs> Again, just a, just a gunshot, but at least it's cooler. It's a shot to the face, and it's pretty cool. So then the next one... Kind of like a similar, not really. It's kind of like Friday the 13th Part 5, Halloween 3, and Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Let me explain. Yes, Chucky's there, a bunch of Chucky's, but they're not the actual Chucky. They're just Chucky clones that he made by using that new spell. The real Chucky, Stitch Face Chucky, is just a. Uh, just a head with a chunk of it missing that Andy keeps in a safe to occasionally take out and torture, but also occasionally smoke a joint with. So they kind of earn some kind of respect on some kind of level. But Chucky's still a dick, so Andy still tortures him. So yeah, the real Chucky's in there, but he doesn't kill anyone because he can't. He's just a head. So technically, he's not the killer in that one. So it's like part five. Where it was a copycat, or or not Halloween three, where it wasn't even the same genre, it was, it was a mask company, or New Nightmare, where it's just a demon that looks like Freddy. Speaking of Freddy, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm so excited to talk about this. I better get through this. So yeah, he has a bunch of Chucky's running around, killing people, trying to get Nika. To, first, he wanted to kill her. Now he wants her to join his cult because he finds her worthy, I guess. Or it, I don't know why. I need to rewatch the movie, but yeah. So by the end of the movie, there's three Chuckies: claw hand, buzz cut, and one arm. Or grave Chucky. He has a few names. So yeah, got all these Chuckies running about. I'm hoping in the next movie, if there is another one. I'll get to that news in a minute. But if they do make another one, I want the original Chucky to come back, somehow reattach his head to his body, and somehow fix this up, maybe, or just have him run around with half a head. 
Because the original Chucky needs to come back. I know, all those other Chuckies are great, but they're not the original. They're not... Meh. It's like people wanted Jason back and Michael back. So, gotta do it. But anyway, moving on. So yeah, Andy comes up with a clever plan to, you know, sneak his way in. So he mailed a Chucky there with a gun hidden inside him. And then he got himself committed so he can get in there. So he could go kill that Chucky and take the gun out of his chest. And the Chucky doesn't die in this, and there's a few Chuckies, and only one of them dies. So this is technically the Chucky death of the movie. It's awesome, but still nothing's going to compare to that head blowing up, man. So he rips the gun out of his stomach, shoots him a few times, and then squishes his fucking head in. Mmm, it's awesome. So yeah, he possesses Nika, and somehow that makes her able to walk again. If a, if if a, if someone can be born and never grow genitalia for years, I'm just gonna go with it. You know, they are a doll. But yeah. So there was gonna make references to them too in the in the seventh movie. See, so like, hey, they're still around. They're still a thing. But they removed them, probably for good reason. No one likes to see them. But Seed is still canon, so Glenn and Glenda are still around. They're still a thing. And that confirms that he didn't kill him at the end of that. So now the new plan is... So I guess Tiffany and him got back together. And now she can have sex with multiple hymns, either as little dolls or as him and other people's bodies. When he comes out in Nika, he's, she's like, well... Or he, whatever. It's like, well, this is different, and... Tiffany's like, yeah, I can. This this works for me. All the all the guys watching just got turned on, and all the girls were like, <gasps> except for a few of them, they're like, mm. anyway. So that's where the movie ends, and it ends with a Tiffany doll in the back also being alive. Is it the same one that was at the end of at the end of the seed that that got the axe chop? So wait. She, no, she clearly didn't do the same spell to do that, so... So... Oh, fuck, I forgot her name again. Jennifer. Jennifer's gotta be the real Tiffany. And she just did the spell to bring that doll to life, right? I don't know. They don't explain it. So, yeah, so... They were gonna... Okay, so now that we get through all the movies... Oh, boy. The news. The new news. Oh, I'm excited. You turn the air off. No noise. I need to concentrate for this. So I was just curious and bored, and I just skimmed through Wikipedia and found that they, they're still going to try to make a, an eighth Chucky movie, but just in case they don't, they're going to have a Chucky TV show that's in the same... It's not like a different universe, a different continuity, no. It's in the same universe as the movies. So if they don't get to continue the story with an eighth movie, they're going to continue it with the TV show. I am excited and I can't wait for that show. I guess that's the only few shows I'm still going to watch on TV. Rise of the Turtles, even if it is bad, I'll watch it as a guilty pleasure. And the Chucky show, where Child's Play, the TV series. I can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome. They got to bring back the original Chucky, man. I don't care if he had half a head missing. I want to see that. I want to see that. Oh, and there's an after credit scene with Kyle. She comes in and tortures the head a bit off screen. I don't know. Hopefully she didn't completely destroy it, because then the original Chucky's gone, and that's... I don't want that. He better come back in the show. But they... So, one, they might make an eighth movie to the series, along with the show. Maybe the movie will take place after the show, or maybe at the same time. But we'll see. And they're also working... They're trying to work on a crossover with Chucky and Freddy. I was expecting Chucky and Leprechaun... But this works, too. I can work with this. I love these two wisecracking motherfuckers. They'll be great in the movie. So, is it going to be canon to the other few? Other Is it going to be canon to the seven? Or is it going to be a non-canon thing? Because usually crossovers are non-canon. Usually. But there is some exceptions. But, I I want it to be... I don't see how it would be. Either Freddy's just meeting a random Chucky. That, that could be the most likely thing. But it's better if it's the real Chucky. 
I, I, I don't know if I want it to be connected to the other seven, or if I want it to be its own world, so we can just have the one Chucky again. I don't know, but it's gotta be good. It's got, it's gotta be great, even if it is silly. I'll take it. It's two boogeymen coming together. That doesn't happen very often. In fact, the only real one I could think of is Freddy vs. Jason. We need more boogeyman crossovers. I can't believe it's been almost... It's been, it's been over 10 years since Freddy vs. Jason, and they're not doing all these boogeyman crossovers that should be done. Let's get Michael vs. Leatherface. Come on. Get Chucky vs. Leprechaun. Let's get Pinhead vs. I don't know, one of the boogeymen. I have a whole playlist of boogeymen. I, I want to see them all together. But they haven't been doing it for, for a few reasons, but some of them they could do, but they just haven't been. Well, now they're finally working on something. They're going to have Chucky and Freddy together in a movie. It's going to be awesome. So there's been no Freddy news for a long time, and I thought the franchise was just dead, especially since Wes Craven died. I thought that was it. The remake did poorly, and Wes Craven's dead. I was worried there was going to be no more Freddy ever again. But this this proves me wrong. I was just looking in the wrong area. I don't know why this is not... I need to check. I guess I need to recheck the page again for Nightmare on Wiki. Maybe it updated I didn't see. Or why would they only put this on the Chucky thing? It's about Freddy, too. Oh, I'll just... I'm excited. Freddy and Chucky together. This is going to be awesome. I might make an entire video about it. What What's going to happen and what I think is going to be... Oh, it's so awesome. I don't care if it's, it's if it's silly. At least it's something. It's something with Freddy in it again. And it's... Okay, I need, this, I need to calm down. Okay, so the TV show, the possible eighth movie to the, to the main series. The crossover, which may or may not be canon. I don't care if it is or isn't. I just, I'm just excited it's going to exist. Now let's get into the news I'm not so happy about. So not only are they going to make an eighth movie to the original series, possibly, and a non, possibly non-canon crossover, they're also working on a reboot. Which may mean that the original series might not get an eighth movie and the original series is over. Or they might continue the original series while the reboot and shit go on. I don't know how they're going to do it, but we'll see. But the reboot I'm not so proud about because... Oh boy, they fucked something up. Uh, yeah? I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy. What are you talking about? What are you needing for? Oh yeah, oh, they want them. All right, we can do we can do that in a minute. I'm recording a video. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's just do it in the morning. They she wanted me to do it while she was here. Okay. Sorry about that. It's not important. Just quickly skimming over that reboot and then um. They changed something rather major, and it's kind of a big deal. Well, the movies I don't even know if the movie started filming yet, so they could change this at any time before it's too late. But apparently Chucky's not alive because a killer died and possessed him. He's just alive because Johnny Five logic. He's a ro he's a he's a robot machine that somehow magically got life into it. But I don't like Johnny Five. When can I talk to her? Yeah, when do you talk to her? Around seven, six or seven, Ma, you know this. Six, seven or eight. Okay, okay. Well, that's going to be a complicated morning tomorrow. But that's not what I'm talking about. That's my life. Something about my life coming in. It's not important. I mean, it is to me, but not important to you guys. We're talking about the awesome news with Chucky and the shitty news with Chucky. So Chucky's not possessed. He's just a malfunctioning AI. Self-aware. He, he came to life because of a glitch or because something. He's alive. 
but not because he's uh, possessed. He's just alive because he came alive. No. Just no. I... Child's Play Reboot? No. You may not be a remake, but... I'd rather take a remake than this shitty idea for a reboot. It's like making the turtles aliens. You don't do that. They had, Michael Bay announced that everyone had a shit fit, so the movie got delayed so they can rewrite the script and make them mutants again. Like they're supposed to be. Like they should be. I hope the fans... No, they're... Unlike the turtles, Chucky doesn't have as big a fan base, so... Probably not enough fans are going to be outraged about this. They might not change it. But they should. If you're a Chucky's fan out there, you need to you need to write letters. Or who writes a letter nowadays? You need to send an angry email to the film company. The filmmakers, someone. Get this changed. <sighs> the turtles are mutants, not aliens. And Chucky is possessed, not a glitchy AI. Sorry, this stuff's going on in there and it's distracting me. I need to tune it out. I don't need to be self-conscious about if they hear me recording. They, they should know what YouTube is. Surely. I showed them YouTube. They should know what I'm doing in here. Uh, well, it's not important. Chucky is possessed. The turtles are mutants. Got it? Stop trying to change... I get it. Reboots. You can start over. You can change things. You can do whatever you want. But some things you're not supposed to change. If you want to make a movie about a killer doll, go ahead. But if don't try to slap Chucky on there. Let me guess. This was going to be just another random killer doll movie that probably wouldn't have ever gotten any attention and just would have been forgotten about. So they decided to throw Chucky on there to get people to pay attention to it. I'm just guessing that's what it is. But oh well, I won't let this shitty movie, this shitty reboot get me down. We have a TV show, possible eighth movie, and if not, we still got that show, so it's okay. We got that Freddy crossover. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a fangasm, right? That's, that's Nerdgasm is what it is. I'm having a nerdgasm. Oh. I need, that sounds creepy. I need to stop it right now. Oh, I'm so excited for this. But I, I don't know what I'm more excited about. The show? The eighth movie? The crossover movie? I know what I'm not excited about. That shitty reboot. But I, I'm excited about the other things. Oh, I don't know which I'm more excited for. I'm more excited about the movies than I am the show. The show's probably going to be great. But I prefer a movie. My, just, just my preference. I can't. And if they don't do the eighth movie, then we still got that Freddy crossover movie. Gotta be the eighth movie. Well, eighth Chucky movie in general, not the eighth one in that series, because they, if they don't do an eighth movie to that one, it's, that series is over. I, I, I just can't wait. Fight. They're gonna get. Here's how it goes. Here's from what I read. They're gonna get along at first, but then when they realize that there ain't enough room on Elm Street for both of them, that's when they're going to fight. I, it's probably going to go down similar to Freddy vs. Jason. First, they're going to find a dream world where Freddy's more powerful. Then Chucky's probably going to pull him into the real world where it's going to be an even match in the real world. In the other movie, Jason overpowered Freddy. Here, Chucky's a small little doll, so you think, eh, Freddy wins. Well, Chucky may be a small little doll, but have you seen the movies? He's a fast little bugger, and he's he's athletic as fuck. It'd be like fighting a little midget ninja. Well, not really like a ninja, but still like fighting a very good midget. Sorry if you're offended by the midget word. It's just that that's what everyone uses, I'm sorry. Uh, it's like fighting a little person. There you go. It's going to be an even match, unlike with Freddy vs. Jason, where Jason overpowered Freddy, and then... At first, Freddy overpowered Jason, then Jason overpowered Freddy. Now it's going to be like, J Freddy overpowers Chucky, and then once they're in the real world, it's going to be an even match. Who's going to win? I love Chucky, but 
like I said, he may be small, but he's athletic. He can he can still put up a good fight. But he's still small. I think Freddie might win. I love them both. Don't get me wrong. But I think Freddie's going to win. It's, I don't care who wins. It's going to be a good movie. Ooh. Please don't let some bullshit happen to this. From what I've read, I was reading it and I was like, reading this excitedly. It's probably going to turn out to be canceled because they couldn't get the rights. I read it to the end, and it's like, no, they're still currently working. I'm like, yes! Yes! Please, God, don't let anything happen. This is awesome. This would be a new era for Boogeyman movies. Boogeyman movies have been kind of vanished here recently. Except for tech, except for Leatherface in 2016, and then the most, and then the Chucky movies, and Leprechaun in 2014, but that one didn't really have the Leprechaun in it. That's another example. It's, the, the Boogeyman movies have been kind of here the past decade, with Hellraiser getting two sequels and well, the first. Well, actually, I, no, they're not sequels. I consider them reboots. It's not the same actor, and I don't, I don't want to connect this piece of shit to the original. But yeah, whatever. It's got the the Boogeyman movies are not have been not very good the past since the past decade, starting with that Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Fuck that remake. Dudley, shut up. I'm doing a YouTube video in here, and I'm ranting. Shut up, Dudley. People like to hear people rant on YouTube, except for the people who don't. Like my friend Kate. Shut up, Ellie. I'll pet you. Okay, I got him to shut up. I just said I'll pet him, and then he stopped. I don't know where they're barking at. Mom's just in there writing stuff down. I think she might be doing her taxes or the bills. Probably the bills. But yeah, the, the Boogeyman movies have not been good. They're not been doing good, let's say that. So, started with that shitty remake of Nightmare. Then, all the Jason movies kept getting canceled before they got off the ground. The Rings movie didn't do too good, which is why one of those of the Jason movies got canceled, that fucking piece of shit. But anyway, the Hellraiser, the two new Hellraiser movies we got this past decade. One of them is better than the other, but that's not saying much. They're both... Yeah. Oh, the Boogeyman movies. Not even really Texas Chainsaw 3D, I don't know how I feel. I watched it in the theaters, and I liked it when I first watched it. Now, re-watching it on DVD, it's, it's an okay movie. Every sequel that came out after the first Texas Chainsaw movie hasn't been as good, and I don't think it ever will be. The that the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie was such a it's like lightning in a bottle. The chances of getting it again slim to none. You can't ever get something that perfect again. So yeah, it's meh. So I saw it in the theaters. I didn't know how to feel about it back then. I kinda liked it. And then I don't know, it's something. And I haven't seen Leatherface at all, so I don't know if that's any good, so I can't comment on that. I can't comment. So, uh, the only thing that's been good is the Chuckies. That's been good. So, come on, by, by 2020, let the Boogeyman movies get something good again. Uh, maybe even sooner, whenever this Chucky crossover comes out. I'm so excited for it. Okay. Now that I'm done, I'm nerding out. I wanted to stop in an hour. It's been an hour, two minutes now. Okay, I need to stop nerding out. Faces isn't even in camera. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, go. Oh, there needs to be more weird crossovers. There's a whole, I made a whole playlist of boogeymen in there. Just pick, pick some at random. Maybe you can get Leprechaun and Jack Frost. Um, no, well, it's, I don't know, everyone hates those movies or just doesn't care, but I think they're so bad they're good. 
or at least something about them is something. Ah, screw it. Fuck it. Jack Frost and Jack from The Shining. Jack Nicholson. Get get Jack Frost and Jack Nicholson. Yeah, both Jacks together. See how that fight goes down. That'd be fun. Let's see. What, let's let's get the Boogeyman himself against Jason Voorhees. Let's get everyone on Jason. Michael and Leatherface, that's an obvious one. Let's get Michael and Wishmaster. That's that's random. Don't know how they make that work, but you can do it. It'd probably have to be a non-canon thing. I don't see how it would fit in either continuity of each movie series. All right, make it happen. Let's see, what other ones? No, I think the Scream series is dead. Oh, Scream came out in 2011. Forgot about that one. Not many people like that one too well. Let's get a non-canon Scream movie. It's not Scream 5. It's just a Scream movie. Let's get Billy and Stu back from the dead so they can burst zombie fishermen. Oh, that'd be good. That's, that's a good one. Let's get The Dentist versus Simon from The Ugly. Oh, oh. That's, okay, I need, to, I need to stop now. I need to stop. Uh, Norman Bates? No, no, I need to stop. Okay. Well, comment, comment down below. I have 19 people subscribed to me, yet my videos never get any comments. Oh well, gotta keep working on it. Eventually I'll get big if I keep trying. But oh well. I don't, I don't mind if I get big or not. I'm probably just going to get a job like any other person soon. So that'll be my income. I'll just do YouTube as a side thing for fun. I just like having something I can vent to. I had my friend for that, but she eventually got bored of me nerding out and got sick of it. So now I try to do it less with her. YouTube is a good place to do it. It's, eh. Oh, I'm excited. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. It's going to be called Child's Play on Elm Street. Or Freddy vs. Chucky, Child's Play on Elm Street. Or the other way around. I... Please let that be the actual title. Don't let that be a working title. I want that to be the official title. That's how these crossover movies will be. We just mix the titles together. We can get Hell Halloween. We can get, or no, Howl Razor. We can get Pinhead and Michael together. Okay, let me stop. All right. See you guys next time.